Good evening, everybody, and welcome to All Things Airgun. I am Donnie Reed, and behind me is the city of Pittsburgh, about uh, 20 or so miles in the distance. Uh, those are not fireflies, those are people's houses and businesses and things over there in the city. But um, <clears throat> the topic for today's video is what is a tack driver? What, uh, you know, can you drive a tack with a pellet rifle like in real life? And, you know, this brought up another question, what is a tack? What, what's like the standardized tack? Uh, I use the smallest one I can find that I know of as a tack. It's not a thumb tack, it's not a roofing tack, it's a carpet tack, and I'll show you that. Um, the other thing I'm doing here, aside just from driving those tacks at 10 yards, that's all I have uh, available that I feel secure and safe shooting at something like this. Uh, I shot into my garage uh, from 10 yards. Uh, I might be able to do this from 20. It depends on well, my neighbors and things. <laughs> but uh, the uh, second part of this is a gentleman from another forum showed me a picture of a pellet that is threaded onto a finishing nail. And he claims he shot at a bottle cap that was held onto a board by this finishing nail and that the pellet went onto this finishing nail and stayed there. And there's a circle, you know, it's a circle. He said it was a Crossman Premier Hollow Point, 22 caliber, and it went around this. And I'll, I'll show you the picture if he'll allow me. Um, the <laughs> the uh, second part of this is me trying to duplicate that. And you can see what happens, and maybe we'll talk more about it later. But uh, first things first, what is attack? Come on, this thing working right? Okay. This uh, right here is the exact tack I'm using. I'm not sure the terminology. This is, as, as I understand it, a carpet tack. Um, I don't know, <laughs> you know enough about it to say what the industry really calls it, but that's uh, how I know this thing is a tack, is as a carpet tack. And uh, that's from carpet installers, they told me that. And we're going to try to drive it into the uh, wood here at 10 yards. All right, now you can see that is not a roofing tack, you know. that The size of that thing is tiny. I didn't measure it. I should have measured it, but it's tiny as hell. You've seen that. It's less than a 22. It's probably about 17. <laughs> but uh, the, um, uh, you know, the driving, can you drive a tack? At 10 yards now I used my Gamo Urban at 10 yards and uh, is a Gamo Urban a tack driver at 10 yards let's answer that question
Okay, guys. Uh, it took me a second to realize that the target, I had the target set up against the wall back there. And this is a shipping pallet. And it took me a minute to realize that the um, uh, point of impact was, uh, uh, well, affected by this change in distance. So my first shots were low. But uh, the first one here, one here. But by the time I got up top, I figured out the hold. And I just used some Kentucky windage. And um, there you go. Now, this is a carpet tack, like I said. And you can most definitely drive a carpet tack with a pellet at 10 yards. But I expected as much. Uh, what I want to do is try the... Um, Try to thread now see this one here. See you can see the head of the nail <laughs> there. I want to do what uh, Oh hell mark Romig, I think is his name did where you thread one on to a finishing nail I'm gonna try that now. We'll, we'll try that Sure is isn't it and uh, it's gonna be a tack driver at much further distance I promise you, it's just a matter of time until I make that happen. Uh, so now let's get on with the second part. Now, assuming I have permission, we'll pre I'll record this as if I have permission to use this picture. Uh, this is the picture I'm talking about. You will see a finishing nail with a Crossman Premier Hollow Point 22 caliber pellet wrapped around this finishing nail and supposedly this is how things ended up. <laughs> right? I mean, right? Look at that. Now, the first thing I said when I saw that is that's impossible. And the reason that I said to myself that is impossible is because of the diameter of the head of the finishing nail. And the fact that it is steel, and the fact that you are shooting lead at it, and the amount of energy. He said, I believe this was ten, uh, 20 yards, he said this happened. And I believe this was from a um, Benjamin Trail NPXL, uh, I believe was the rifle he said. I'll make sure, and I'll correct this if I'm incorrect. But uh, that's... Um, that's uh, roughly, you know, up there with the energy of this Game O Urban. The Game O Urban shoots these Barracuda Hunters at about 24 foot-pounds of energy. And, um, you know, 10 yards here, that's just, it's probably 23.7 <laughs> by the time it gets there, you know. It doesn't lose a lot. <clears throat> Some, but not a lot. But, um, uh, it's definitely what I use today is more energy than he supposedly did at uh, 20 yards that would have been less energy um, and I'm gonna try this again this isn't the end of it so um, I think I've established this was from his claim and I like I said I'm not I, I, I'm not saying I'm saying he's lying I'm just saying I can't you know we'll see I have to test it. I have to see is this real is this possible you know so, um, 20 yards, Crossman Premier hollow point, 14.3 grain, 22 caliber, with the Benjamin Trail NPXL, uh, were his conditions. My conditions are 10 yards, uh, Game O Urban, 22 caliber, with the Barracuda Hunter pellet. And the reason I chose the Barracuda Hunter is because it's more accurate out of my Urban than the Crossman Premier hollow point. And the design is similar in that there is a hollow point in the tip and a hollow base. And between that, if you did a cross section of the pellet, it's a very small amount of lead that is actually dead in the middle of that pellet. So that's what I'm trying to get to and wrap around the finishing nail. Now, here is my attempts at duplicating that.
Okay guys, this uh, lacing a pellet on a finishing nail thing is proving difficult. I, I'm only shooting at 10 yards because that's what I have available to record with and I feel comfortable that the pellet will stay in my garage if anything you know terrible happens. That's why I'm shooting in here. <clears throat> I wouldn't do this where I normally record 25 and 50 yards because of the possibility of pellets going somewhere I cannot predict. So what I'm gonna do, I'm hitting this. I'm hitting this thing dead square in the middle, but the pellets just explode. You'll see this in the slow-mo. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is sharpen it. I'm gonna sharpen the tip of this finishing nail so that it's just like this. And, um, you know, uh, gingerly tap it in its little hole there to try and maximize the ability of this nail and this harder steel iron whatever it is to um uh penetrate the lead you know the lead is much much softer than the steel so what should happen here is the lead should move out of the way of the steel more or less that's that's a hell of an oversimplification but that's what should happen here the lead should plasticize move deform get out of the way and wrap itself around this <laughs> i don't know i don't know you know i've seen that picture <laughs> and it's just the damnedest thing man i don't know uh, well you, you know well whatever i'm gonna sharpen this up and try again <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I have now, I'll just, I'll put a couple of these on here, but every time, now I'm hitting this pellet, or hitting that nail dead square on, and the pellets are exploding. They're just ex -turn, ex turning into fragments, you know, shrapnel. So, I have an idea, and uh, I think I, I made another video, so I'll just let myself explain this. Just uh, have a look at me. <laughs> okay, so you see I've got the uh, sharpened, you know, I sharpened it. You know, I want it to pierce the pellet and, you know, retain this pellet shape <laughs> around that nail. That's what I want. So let's sharpen it and uh, try again, you know. Okay, guys, try as I may, try as I might. I can't get a pellet on a nail tonight. <laughs> I, I, I was unsuccessful. Now, that's not the end of this. I'm going to keep going here. And I think I'm going to have to reduce the energy. Uh, I might have a little trick in mind to do that. But we need superb accuracy here, you know? You can't be off by anything. So, you need dead pinpoint accuracy so the summation of this entire video is there a such thing as a tack driver you bet your ass there is is the game o urban a tack driver you bet your sweet ass it is and um can you lace a pellet on a nail to be continued thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video